He's a polarizing political figure. Some perceive Oscar Lopez Rivera as a man of violence. Others see him as a national freedom hero. That was the honor he was set to receive at this year's Puerto Rican Day Parade. That designation sent parade sponsors and political officials scattering. Now, at the last minute, Lopez Rivera is declining that honor. The mayor's office says, unfortunately, the parade and the plight of Puerto Rico have been overshadowed by needless controversy. Oscar Lopez Rivera agreeing to step aside from any formal role in the parade is a critical step forward. Lopez Rivera was associated with FALN, a radical group responsible for multiple fatal bombings, including one in 1974 at Francis Tavern, which killed four people, including Joe Connor's father. Lopez ruined my dad's life. He destroyed our lives. Lopez Rivera, whose prison sentence was commuted by President Obama after serving 36 years, says he will now march, quote, not as your honoree, but as a humble Puerto Rican and grandfather. The issue of his high profile presence divided New York officials. Governor Cuomo and Police Commissioner O'Neill declined invitations to the parade. Mayor de Blasio and Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito stood by their choice to participate. This Puerto Rican Day parade is to celebrate the contributions of the Puerto Rican people uh, and not about one individual. And so I will be there on June, June 11th. The title of National Freedom Hero was specifically designated for Lopez Rivera. No one else will be receiving that award come Sunday, June 11th. At City Hall, Magdalena Jaris, CBS 2 News. Despite this new development, the sponsors that have pulled funding from the parade have not returned. And no word if the officials who have declined their invitations will march.